be made out of silk. Yes, so I can... Is there any you. difference between a yukata obi and a kimono obi, or is it interchangeable? Kimono obi is a lot of them are made out of silk. Oh, okay. Nowadays, you can buy cheaper ones and um, uh, uh, either hmm. cotton or nylon. Oh, yeah. Nylon or yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So, uh, I usually prefer silk obi for kimono. It's just because nylon is very good. Yes, but if it's made out of silk, it usually stays better. Yes. Hmm. It's kind of slick material. Mm -hmm. It is kind of slick. <laughs> Hakama, so it's not for yukata, but let me see. Oh, how did you learn this? Um, <laughs> YouTube? Where, no, where, <laughs> where, I, where I bought it online, um, is a yukata kimono back of the market. Yes. And they have videos. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, men's obi, you don't really have fancy knots. <laughs> you, you have a one type of knot that you can use, which is much easier than the female one. Um, Let's see if I can try with this. But it's it's very simple. Yeah. It just comes around once. Yes, yeah, comes out oh, twice. Twice. Oh, man, twice as well. But it's much because you don't have a complicated knot. It's the length is shorter, but thickness is also about the half size, like this much. So for men, it's like a regular knot. It's not like a bow tie, but it's. This is still long, but... It's yeah, square. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's, it's hard to do this with this, but yeah, it's basically a square knot that uh, men do it. Okay. And uh, if you go mm -hmm. online, you know, YouTube has always a <laughs> tutorial yeah. that's... So it's basically something like this. Okay. Yeah. 
it doesn't look good with this kind of body, but basically for men it's like this. But you wear it more like this. <laughs> <laughs> Showing your belly. <laughs> but female, you know, if you're women, you never do that. <laughs> but for men, <laughs> for men, it's about, so like this is the back side, so it's going to be like this. And then that would be in the back. Yeah, now it's the back. Oh, okay. But then it's supposed, for female, you're always straight yeah. like this. The man is like more angle. So yes, like this side is your hip mm -hmm. and this side is under your belly. Yeah, you mind for it down here? Yeah. Ah yeah. Okay. Yeah. Comes up. yeah. Uh, Just above your hip. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So that's the man. And a man is it's it's more comfortable. You don't feel too tight. <laughs> right. Uh, compared with female. But that's how the man is. And a man also, unlike women, so men, women has a lot of tax here, excess public, but men, you yeah, don't. You great. buy yukata about your height from your shoulder to your ankle. So if you can find, or sometimes I know people make yukata on your, you got your, your own yukata, so when you try to make it, for female, we say you look for yukata about your height. So if you are five, Five five or something. You should find you got that, or you make you got that about your height from your head to toe. But for men, from shoulders to toe, yes, because you're not going to have any tacking like this. So for men, you don't have to have a two sash like this. You only have to have one, and your belt, because you don't have to have to. You don't have to do this adjusting. Okay. And for men, you can show your skin more. <laughs> 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 yes, your neckline can be wider. Oh, yes, more space. Any other questions? Following mm. mm. along with what you just previously said, so for making the kind of first because for a guy, it's from shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder. Ankle, ankle, yes. Yeah. Yeah. For women, head to ankle. Yeah, that's the usually the length of yukata you look for. Okay? No problem. So I hope I made you a little more comfortable with yukata. I know there is a one vendor at the dealer section there. They're selling um, yukata or small or little. All right. Yeah, and it has been to three different events in all of the country right now. Yeah. And also online, sometimes you can find stuff on Amazon, sometimes, I know uh, you went to Takura, right? Yeah, that's another website I recommend you to go look because they have a variety of sizes too. And it comes with everything and it's fairly cheap. Not that cheap, but it's not too expensive. Yeah, to buy it. And if you have opportunity to go to Japan, <laughs> I would strongly suggest for you to just look for a uh, recycled kimono shop. Those are everywhere in Japan. Kyoto, Tokyo, um, by Asakusa, there is a um, lantern temple 